Hi, and welcome to this short overview of how to set up and use the Bills feature in Money Brilliant. Managing bills is an important part of the functionality of Money Brilliant. It's an important part of setting up a budget. In fact, we always recommend that you set up bills before setting up your budget. And it's also an important part of our new Bill Watch service, which is designed to help you save real money on your major household bills like gas and electricity. Okay, so we're going to start this demonstration from the point of having signed up for Money Brilliant and having connected our main financial accounts. From the Overview Dashboard tab, you can see where my safe spending amount will be shown after I've set up my budget. You can also see my net worth, which has been automatically calculated based on the accounts that I've connected. Of course, I probably have other assets and liabilities like property and vehicles that I might also want to add to my net worth, which I could go ahead and do. You can also see down the bottom here, uncategorized transactions from the accounts that we've connected. Before we set up bills or before we set up a budget, it's important that we've categorized all of our transactions. Otherwise, default bills and default budget amounts may not be as accurate as they could be. So now we're just going to quickly categorize this transaction. To do this, we just tap on the transaction to display its details. Here we can see the details of the transaction. We tap on the uncategorized label to see a list of all of the available transaction category groups. We want to categorize this particular transaction as a bank fee. So we find the fees and charges category, tap on it, and then we can select service charges and fees. We've now categorized this transaction. So tap the back label in the top left hand corner of the screen and we're back at the overview dashboard screen. And we can see here that we have no more uncategorized transactions. Okay, so now we're just going to quickly move over to the manage my spending dashboard, which is where the bills feature lives. To set up bills, simply tap on the My Bills feature on the dashboard. Being a brand new account and our first time into the Biller feature, we have no billers set up. So we want to tap on the plus sign in the top right hand corner of the screen to add a new biller. One of the things that's really great about setting up billers in Money Brilliant is that Money Brilliant will automatically look through all of my transactions to find transactions that it thinks might be bills and list them for us. Setting up most bills should be just a case of tapping each one and confirming the details that Money Brilliant proposes. So let's set up a couple of bills now. Remember, what we're doing here is creating certain recurring expenses for our budget. We can also set up alerts to help us manage bills, which we'll touch on later. So the first and most obvious bill in my list is my Telstra mobile bill, which I pay each month. So let's tap on that one to open it up. Now we can see the details of the bill, which all look to be correct. If we needed to, we could change the name of the bill to make it more descriptive or change the category, frequency and due date for the bill. We should also check the paid by direct debit option and turn that on as this bill is paid by direct debit. For some bills, we can also turn on the bill watch feature where Money Brilliant will make recommendations to us about alternative products and service deals where we might be able to save some money. But we aren't going to go into detail on that feature in this demonstration. We have a separate video that covers that one. Okay, all we need to do now is tap the Save option. Okay, now we're back at the list of transactions that Money Brilliant has identified as potential billers. The next bill that we're going to set up is my IINET Internet Service Provider bill. Again, we just tap on the transaction to check the information that's presented. If we're happy with what's presented, we just tap Save. Okay, we have another couple of bills to add. An HCF Health Insurance bill, which we'll quickly deal with and a Sydney Water Bill that we'll also quickly set up. Now we're just going to change the frequency of the Sydney Water Bill from monthly to quarterly. That will make our budgeting and cash flow management, not to mention our alerts, much more accurate. To do that, simply tap the frequency option, select the frequency that we want, in this case it's quarterly, and then go back to the biller screen. Finally, we're going to set up our energy bill. So tap on the Energy Australia transaction. We also need to change the frequency of this bill and set it to quarterly. And we also pay this one by direct debit. So we'll turn that on as well. Okay, so now we're back at the biller screen and we can see the details of all the bills that we've set up. We have a mix of monthly and quarterly bills. 
If we go back to the Manage My Spending dashboard, we see a summary of our bills for this month. We've paid a couple and we have a few more coming up. Thankfully at this point, there are none overdue. If we go back into bills now, we can see the details of our bills, including a really useful calendar style view of all of my bills. If we go back to our billers, we can also get some really good information about each of our billers, including how much we've spent with each biller this year, how much we've spent with each biller in total, depending on the Money Brilliant transaction history that we have, and also a record of each individual bill payment transaction. Now the final thing that we want to show you with bills is the bill alert functionality. This can be really useful to help you stay on top of all of your bills. You can set alerts to remind you when bills are due. You can set alerts to let you know when bills have been paid, which might be really useful for bills that are paid by direct debit. And you can also set alerts to, know, to let you know rather when a bill has been missed. To access the bill alert features, just go to the settings area from the bottom right hand corner of the screen and select alerts. Now you can see all the configuration options for all the Money Brilliant alerts. We want to have a closer look at the alerts for bills. So simply turn on the bill alert feature by sliding the toggle and then tap on the bills label. We can now see the alerts that are available for bills. We can turn on alerts when a bill is paid, which might be useful if we're using direct debits for paying a bill. We can turn on alerts if I miss paying a bill or we can turn on alerts to remind me when a bill's due. I can also configure how I want to receive my alerts. In my Money Brilliant activity feed, in other words within the Money Brilliant app, by email or by push notification to my phone. I'm just going to turn on alerts for when I miss a bill and for bill due reminders. The missed bill reminder will check for payment transactions with a matching description within a couple of days of the bill due date. And if it doesn't find one, it'll send us an alert to let us know that we've missed a bill payment. The bill paid alerts will check for a payment transaction that matches the bill description and match it against the next bill payment event and let us know when it's been paid. When I turn on the bill due reminder, I can configure how many days in advance I want the alert sent. I'll leave it at three days. And also whether I want the alert sent for all of my bills or just those that aren't paid by direct debit. And that's it, a quick overview of the bills feature in Money Brilliant. Don't just be good with money, be money brilliant.